there's a lot of good artists here and uh, it's good uh, about this exhibition uh, is coming up next month to uh, show all their uh, work off, you know, in a big city. Because a lot of them just uh, do their art and have it around Wilcannia. They could dis display it better in Sydney then. Yeah, I'm Eddie Harris um, from the Barkindia tribe, the Indriba people. And my job is to encourage the artists to um, sort of get a bit of a profile and to handle their own, own businesses like with the art and tourism in Wilcannia. I never entered a expedition before and it's all new to me. So a few of us are going to Sydney um, for exhibition and it'd be a good opportunity uh, for them uh, and myself to go down and um, experience the exhibition in the city. Uh, some of them have never had exhibition in Sydney before so this is a good opportunity for them. I'm pretty excited about it and I'm excited for the people as well. So. Yeah, I've been in Wilcannia most of my life and I love painting. We've got heaps of talent here yeah. and, it, and it'd be good to see that uh, exposed a bit, I guess, to the wider audience, yeah. Yeah, I was born in, born in Wilcannia, but I was a part of the stolen generation and uh, had to stay in the homes till I was 18 and then come back home, then I was just like a gypsy travelling around. Now I'm getting on, so I thought I'd better come back home and settle down. I grew up in the Sandhill country, or a lot of people call it the Mallee now. Or my grandmother, she she lived down in the in the bend on the other side of the river in the black clay. Yeah, I used to see little bits of pieces of art down there. Um, my old uncle used to carve boomerangs on the river bank there. And I do um, portraits, landscapes. I would. Um, the portraits, so uh, you use uh, charcoal, and landscapes I do um, acrylic paint. I also do basket weaving. I do them like this here, and some on uh, bark for table decorations. Yeah, use quandong seeds, and these are your emu feathers. Yeah, I come here to do my paintings. I find it. Uh really um well it's got a good feeling about us good spiritual feeling here and the birds come in on the trees here and just outside here and sing a song early in the morning and I always come down and sit down over there or here when i'm doing my basket weaving get out in the fresh air on the riverbank where nature takes over i just sit down just think of something and just paint it no, no, I just love doing art. Been doing it ever since I've been going to school. No, I didn't know I had it in me. I used to do stick figures. And then now I can't stop drawing <laughs> or doing artwork. When I get stressed sometimes, I go look at uh, the portrait I done of my grandmother and talk to her. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Thank you. What inspired my art is uh, uh, no one knew who I am, uh, where I come from, and, and doing this is a way of teaching uh, non-Aboriginal people about our culture and, and how we feel about the land and the river. Uh, it's very in the spirit. The place, the, the spirit of the people, and, and the beauty of the landscape and, and, the, and the stuff, and in, our, in our way of showing it through the art, yeah. This painting is called Claypan Spirit and this, this painting is about the landscape around here and the sites around here. These here represent the old, really old campfires from our ancestors. There's big ones and small ones. Um, there's little dots here, white dots. These represent the bush fruits and flowers out in this area. These ones here are the spirits of my ancestors that now look over the country and make sure everything's fine out in this area. So yeah, it's a very, very special painting this one. This painting is the wild banana, we call Garkaladi in Barkindi language. And um, the white represent the ash from the fire, the yellow is the flames, the green is the wild banana, and the ants represent the people, and they're coming together around the campfire. The big ants are the old people, 
uh, these ones here, and the little ants up the front are the young people, and these gatherings usually take place around sunset. I've been a finalist in the New South Wales Parliamentary Art Prize two years running as well. I won a lot of people on what my painting was about, how I felt about the land and, and stuff like that. So I was a library on the night and I got my photo taken with a lot of people and yeah, got the chance to talk about well, Kenya. So it's, it's a good win for all of us, uh, not only me, for the Barkindy people, well, Kenya. Yeah.